Smells bougie, just fancy. Hey guys, it's Judy here with my life as Geek Eye. Welcome to today's video. I'm very excited to be sharing today's video with you guys because I finally had enough things collected enough to be able to create a video of a makeup haul for you guys. There is a couple things in here that aren't makeup. There's some other things that I just want to share with you guys because they're new things that I bought. And so it's kind of an all-inclusive makeup and new favorite things related video that I just wanted to share with you guys. So if you want to see the recent things that I have purchased, then just keep on watching. Now here's a little bit of a disclaimer I feel like I need to present at the beginning of this video, especially considering the current situation that the whole entire world is in at the moment. Now I know that a lot of people don't have money to be able to spend on these things, which I know would a lot of people would consider non-essential, but I am incredibly blessed to still be one of those people who still have my job. Also, regardless of the situation that the whole world is in at the moment, I work very, very hard. I save even harder. And the things that I have purchased was all kind of a culmination over the last couple months where I've been putting money aside and then buying things as they come up on sale and using coupon codes and still able to save money throughout the whole process of purchasing these items. So that's just a little bit of a disclaimer out of the way. I'm not trying to rub the fact in your face that I'm able to purchase these items. It's just I enjoy watching haul videos myself and for those of you who do enjoy these types of videos, then this one is for you. If you're offended by these sort of videos, then I'm sorry, you're more than free to click off this video, watch absolutely anything else that you like, that you enjoy. But yeah, for this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys all the recent things that I have purchased or have been sent in the mail through PR. Also, at some point through the video, if I end up with lipstick on my teeth, it's because I just do. <laughs> I'm wearing a gloss on my lips at the moment, and while I really love the look of it, it's quite, um, ending up all over my teeth. So if you see at some point through the video, I have lipstick all over my teeth, don't judge me. I'm trying my best to not have it there, but if it ends up there, then I just, it is what it is. <laughs> now, before I jump into the things that I purchased myself, I wanna quickly jump into the things that I was sent through PR, products that companies have sent to me for review. It's not a paid review or anything like that, not sponsored or anything. It's just some companies reach out to me and say, hey, we'd like to send you some of our products and we'd like you to try them out and give a review if you do end up enjoying using our products. So I'm gonna quickly share with you guys a few things that I have been sent and then we'll move on to the things that I purchased myself. This one is the Good Molecules X exfoliating pineapple powder. It's actually a really pretty packaging. It's in a little glass bottle. Nearly all of their products are in glass bottles. It's an exfoliating powder. I have not tried this one yet. A lot of these products that I'm gonna be sharing with you today, I haven't tried yet actually. Some of them I have. I'm in fact wearing a lot of it on my face today. So yeah, really thankful to Good Molecules for sending me this product. Nearly everything that I've tried from Good Molecules I absolutely love. So I have actually no doubt that I'm gonna enjoy using this pineapple exfoliating powder. I'm not quite sure yet how it works. So I'm really looking forward to trying it, that one out. Something else that Good Molecules has sent me is their Clarify and Cleanse Bar. It's a soap-free cleansing bar formulated with white willow bar extract, kaolin clay, and cacao powder to help maintain a clear complexion for acne-prone skin. Now, I haven't actually used this yet. I probably should take it out and try it and just put it in the shower so I can actually use it. But I'm really excited to try that one out. Again, I haven't hated anything that I have purchased or have been sent from Good Molecules. So really looking forward to trying that one out. Now, I had a professional brush collection company reach out to me and say, hey, we'd like to send you our brushes. Um, and it was EIG Show, EIG Show. And this is the box of brushes that they sent me. The packaging is quite hefty. It's really packaged very very, very nicely. I'm really excited to try these brushes out. I have had a look at the brushes already. It's in this really nice, smooth, pleather type of brush pouch. I don't use these pouches very often. I'm not a makeup artist per se, like I don't do makeup on other people, but if I did, this pouch would come in very handy, I'm sure. It comes in a pouch like this. There are 18 brushes in this set and you have literally every single brush that you need to create a full makeup look. I have had a look at these brushes already and felt them and the bristles feel really, really nice and soft. The brushes that need to be dense are quite dense. The brushes that need to be packed are 
packed and I think there are synthetic brushes so I'm really looking forward to trying these out. I'm the kind of person when I've found brushes that work for me I don't really explore outside of those brushes but having been sent these brushes from Eeg Show, I'm really thankful that they sent this to me. If you're watching Eeg Show, thank you very very much. Looking forward to trying out these brushes in a makeup look which I will be doing in a video hopefully soon. <laughs> I got sent a clay mask from Clay Hydrate. This one is a hemp clay mask to help hydrate cleanse and detoxify the skin. It is an Australian brand, so it's one of the smaller Australian brands. They reached out to me on Instagram and said they would like to send me a product, so I'm looking forward to trying this out. Thank you to Clay Hydrate for sending me this mask. It has some very good ingredients in it. Kaolin clay, I haven't actually used kaolin clay before on my skin. It's got hemp seed oil, aloe leaf juice, glycerin. I use a lot of glycerin in my skincare as well. Organic cocoba seed oil, and it has a lot of other ingredients here, like vitamin E, vitamin C, as well as some natural products. Looking forward to trying this out and seeing how we go. If I end up enjoying using this product, most likely you guys will see a video of it or a review of it up on my Instagram or my channel, depending on how impressed I am with the results of this product. So thanks again to Clay Hydrate for sending me those. Now having all of that out of the way, those are all the things that I was personally sent by other brands that I did not pay for. I'm now going to go into the products that I did buy with my own hard earned money <laughs> and first I'm gonna go jump into the products that I recently purchased from Morphe brushes they recently had a sale on their website well they have sales every so often and even when they don't they have a lot of coupon clothes Cl clothes. <laughs> they have a lot of coupon codes floating around on the internet where you can use to save some money. So I purchased the Morphe 39L Hit the Lights eyeshadow palette. I have a video creating a look using this palette already up on my YouTube channel so I'm going to leave it linked either up here in the info card or in the description box down below. You can go check it out if you're interested. You will see a little bit more of an in-depth review in that video if you so choose to watch it. Now I don't know if this palette is a limited edition because I did go on the website and I couldn't find it anymore. So if you guys are able at all to get your hands on this, long story short, I do like this palette. I didn't end up using all the shades, but I did use a few, a lot of them, a fair few of them on my face and enjoyed the shadows that I did use. It's a fairly large palette. Again, the packaging is stunning. Really super love that. A couple other things that I purchased from Morphe. This one is an all I want six piece brush collection. It comes in a little pleather bag like this and it has six brushes that are used for the eyes or the brows. Um, I haven't opened it up yet, but it has tapered crease brush, line definer brush from blender brush, small chisel brush, smudge brush, double-sided angle brush, a spoolie, as, and this small bag as well. I don't think I'm going to personally use this. I think I might give it to one of my sisters because I don't actually really need any more brushes. I don't know why I bought this. I think it's because it was like really super discounted on the Morphe website. But that's okay. I purchased it and I think I will give it to one of my sisters and I think they will definitely be able to use this and get more use out of it than I personally will. So set that aside for my sisters. I also did purchase another one of the Jaclyn Hill The Eye Master Collection. It comes in a little glitzy bag like this. I do enjoy using these brushes. I use them a lot in my eyeshadow looks. If you watch any of my makeup tutorial videos, you know that I, I do use these a lot in my in my makeup application so I purchased those again I don't think I'll end up using the bag I don't really need the bag I think I'll include it in some future giveaways when I am able to send things things in the mail again after all of this whole pandemic crisis thing is over some other things I did purchase from Morphe are some eyeshadow eyeshadow are these eyelashes? They were on a they were on a lot of a sale. They were on a fair sale. There was a fair bit of money knocked off them. I think each pair was like three dollars or something like that. If I remember correctly, I'm not exactly sure, but I do know it was quite cheap and affordable. I don't like to spend more than five dollars in a pair of lashes because I don't wear them very often. I probably just wear them for like YouTube videos. As soon as I finish filming the video, I take them off, or for looks that really call for it, that like they're really out there and need lashes, then I will apply lashes. But I'm more of a mess mascara type girl so I just purchased these because they were cheap and if I needed to use them in photos then at least I've got them. So I got two of them in the style Sunset Boulevard and two of them in the style Hollywood Hills. I actually really like these lashes. They are quite wispy and really super pretty. Now that's everything that I got from morphe.com. I went to Kmart the other day and just went in there in and out really super quick. I went there to have a bit of a browse but when I went there there was like 
lines and lines of people waiting out the door and as soon as I got in there no one was practicing social distancing the vibe in there was really weird everyone was really aggressive and rude so I just got in there grabbed these items and then got straight back out it was really shocking to see the amount of people in one store it just was kind of disconcerting actually I don't know do you guys have that same experience where you live are people not practicing social distancing is it not really being taken very seriously where you are let me know in the comments down below I'm really interested to see what your situation is like in your part of the world anyway that's a little bit of a tangent I'm going to share with you guys the products that I purchased from Kmart and these ones are from the elf line so I got this elf highlighter this one is in the shade rose gold and I also got it in the shade white gold I haven't tried the white gold yet it's a little bit more of a golden -y hue this one this rose gold is actually the highlight that I'm wearing on my face today long story short I actually really like this highlighter and I'm assuming that this one is the exact same formula it's a beautiful highlight and it was quite affordable as well elf is very affordable one of these was ten dollars so I mean in the grand scheme of things it's probably is quite expensive if you really super think about it I didn't think about it too long I just grabbed it off the shelf and went and I also got the elf poreless putty primer now this one I've been wanting to try for a little while I know Tati Westbrook talks about this a lot on her channel and I don't exactly remember what her review on it was so I wanted to try it out for myself this one is in the not shade because it doesn't have a shade this one is the universal sheer poreless putty primer and it's got hydrating squalene in it as well squalene is a type of oil that is used in a lot of skincare and I also got a few brushes <laughs> I got a lot of new brushes to try out you guys. I got the blending eye brush It's a nice small tipped blending brush. This one is an eyeliner brush. This one is an eye crease brush Actually, these two look very similar. They're just a little bit smaller I do have these already in my collection and I really enjoy using them Which is why I picked up some more and this one is an eyeshadow brush It's just more of a packing brush type of brush and a pair of tweezers because I need one in every single room of the house <laughs> All right, those are the things I got from Kmart. I'm gonna share something that I saw Jacqueline Hill talking about on her Instagram stories. I purchased this off of Amazon and I just got it in the mail literally just today. I think it needs a bit of putting together. Yes, it does need a bit of putting together, so I'm not gonna pull it out of the box right now. But essentially, what it is, is it's a phone and tablet stand. It's fairly heavy and what it does is it holds the phone or a tablet, if you're using either or, to film with. But I use my phone a lot for my Instagram stories and so I invested in this. It wasn't exactly cheap. I think it was like, I want to say $79 more or less, but it, from the looks of it, it's very hefty and good quality. It's from the brand Saiji, Saiji, Saiji. Saiji. I'm gonna anyway, I'm gonna leave it linked in the description box down below if you guys want to check it out. I really needed something like this because the only thing I had for my phone when I was doing my Instagram stories when I couldn't hold it at the same time, the only thing I had at the moment for it was my actual tripod, which is what my camera is standing on at the moment. It's a little bit fiddly to put my phone on this actual tripod that I have my camera on right now. I need an attachment to use to clamp my phone. Anyway, it's a whole thing. And so I bought a cell phone stand or mobile phone stand specifically just for my phone and I'm gonna keep this tripod just for my camera I know it's first world problems but it definitely makes my job working on social media a whole lot easier when I have the equipment specifically for the job that I need it for so I did purchase that I'm going to assemble it and then leave an insert here in this video showing you guys what it looks like fully assembled because it's actually pretty cool again if you want to check it out I'm gonna leave it linked in the description box down below now the next items don't hate on me <laughs> Please don't. I kind of almost hate myself for purchasing these, but Sephora had a sale. One of these things was 50% off and the other wasn't. Now, Sephora never usually has decent sales, but they recently had this Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette number 28 at 50% off. And y'all know how expensive Natasha Denona eyeshadow palettes are. I'm not gonna say the price of this palette full price out loud because it's going to make me literally gag. <laughs> but I did get this palette at 50% off and look how gorgeous it is. It is 100% a real investment in my makeup collection. And look at this guys, just look how absolutely stunning. Look how beautiful it is. I'm almost scared to touch it. Being 100% honest, most likely I'm just going to have this as part of my collection and never ever use it. I might swatch it or I don't know. I don't know. But 
I did get this palette on 50% off. I definitely took advantage of that discount from Sephora. And while I was on there, I did purchase something else, which wasn't on sale, but I saw Nikita Dragon talking about it on her Instagram stories. She was raving about this perfume called Juliet Has a Gun, and it's in the scent, not a perfume. Now, I haven't actually tried it. I'm really looking forward to smelling it and trying it out. Now, this one cost me a freaking arm and a leg but I actually really wanted to try it and so I bought it. <laughs> I'm really hoping I love it because this one was really super expensive. It actually feels kind of bougie. Well it better be because it was really expensive. It comes in this black box that feels almost like velvet that leaves fingerprints as soon as I touch it. It says Juliet has a gun on the front and it's in the scent, not a perfume. Ooh, that's bougie. That's bougie, just fancy. Ooh, it's a very heavy bottle as well. This is the first time I'm opening it. It's a very, very heavy bottle. It feels like really super good quality. I'm hoping this scent doesn't break me out. Ooh, I love that scent. Why does this smell familiar to me? It's got a really nice mist too. Oh, that smells amazing. Is this a perfume? Audi perfume. So it is a perfume. It's in the scent called not a perfume. So don't be confused by that. It is a perfume in the scent not a perfume. <laughs> and it smells amazing. I'm gonna leave the notes of it up here because I'm really, really bad at describing what things smell like. All I know is this smells incredible. I think I found my new favorite scent, guys. And I love that it has a really nice display box because then now I can display it on my perfume shelf up here. I've got something to show for this super expensive, exorbitant amount of money that I spent on this not a perfume perfume. <laughs> okay, now recently Chemist Warehouse, which is a really big place in Australia where you can purchase a lot of toiletries, skincare, uh, toilet paper, swabs, cotton wool, vitamins, that sort of shop. I'm not sure what the equivalent is for you guys who are watching from America because I know a lot of you watch from America, but it's that sort of shop. And they also have a lot of makeup and recently they had a 40% off sale on their entire cosmetics line. So I took advantage of that sale <laughs> and I purchased a fair few things from Flower Beauty and a couple other things which I use in my everyday makeup routine, which I'm not going to share because they were just like top-ups of my normal everyday makeup, but I'm going to share the other things that I bought from from the line Flower Beauty. Um, first of all, this one is not from Flower Beauty. This one is a micellar water. It's a micellar cleansing water combination to oily skin and it's from the brand Evo Luderm. I usually use Bioderma, but for a small bottle, which is like that much of this one, it's $24 from Chemist Warehouse here. It's very, very expensive. I use the sensitive skin one and I love that. But it's just, I can't justify spending $24 on something that I just use to cleanse my face. So this one was from a brand that I've actually never tried before, but it's a French skincare and I'm a huge fan of the La Roche-Posay skincare line, which is a French skincare line and it works beautifully on my skin. So I don't know, is that silly? I bought it because it's a French skincare, but I have tried this cleansing micellar water. It smells amazing. It doesn't break me out of my skin and it was only $4.99. It was only $5 for this huge bottle here. This is gonna last me a long time. So really glad that I discovered that. Hopefully it's something that Chemist Warehouse carries constantly because I'd never actually seen this at Chemist Warehouse before. Anyway, that's enough talking about a $5 bottle of micellar water. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna share with you guys the products that I purchased from Flower Beauty. This makeup look I created using all of these products or a majority of these products. And if you do wanna see that video, if it's already up, I'm not sure what's going up first, this video or that Flower Beauty video, I'm gonna leave it, it linked up here in the info card or in the description box down below if you're interested in seeing how I created this look and my review and first impressions on all of these products from Flower Beauty. So first of all, I'm just gonna grab and talk about it. This one is the Flower Beauty, well, all of these are Flower Beauty. This one is their Translucent Miracle Matte Finishing Powder. It's quite a bulky container, but I think they did that because it's a container that can sit out on your vanity and it's a really nice display type of piece. It is quite bulky. I would definitely not recommend traveling with it. The next one is their Seal the Deal Long Lasting Setting Spray. It's a matte finish, but I really loved it. It didn't remove the luminosity that I had on my face from the foundation and the concealer. That's a really nice one. It has an amazing mist too. Check this out. It's like a little breath of a mist. It's not, it's not a sputtery 
bitty type of mist spray and I absolutely love that. I also got three satin finish blushes. I got them in the shade Peach Primrose, Warm Hibiscus, and Sweet Pea. Really super love these ones. I also got another one of the Light Illusion Luminous Feel Foundation. Really super love that one, so I got another one. I also got the Pore Minimizing Primer. I got one of their contour sticks. This one is a multitasking foundation. I think what they mean by multitasking is that you can use it for contour slash cream bronzer as well. I also got one of their full coverage concealers. I got two of their lip glosses. I'm wearing the red one on my lips today and I absolutely love it. It's not sticky, it's not slippery, it's not greasy. I also got three of their matte lipsticks. I've got this one on my face today. If, again, if you guys want to see the full in-depth review of, not in-depth, but if you want to see my thoughts on all of these products, then I'm gonna, again, I'm going to leave that video linked in the description box below. I got this bullet lipstick. I have not tried this one yet. I don't exactly know what I feel about it, but it is in the shade Autumn Rose. It's a really super pretty shade right there really super pretty packaging as well all of the flower beauty products have really super cute packaging and i also got three of the brushes this one is their foundation brush this one is an eyeshadow blending brush and this is their concealer blending brush as well so that's everything that i got from chemist warehouse in fact that is everything that i really actually no it's not it is not I'm just gonna show you guys the box because the humidifier is actually in the bedroom and it's really big and bulky and I'll probably take a little video clip of it and insert it right here for you guys. This one is the Buer, Bauer, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce that, but it's a humidifier and I've been on the search for one of these for such a long time. The ones that I found recommended highly on YouTube were American brands and I couldn't get them shipped to Australia, not unless I wanted to pay a huge exorbitant price, but I got this one for $180 delivered as well from Appliances Online Australia and I absolutely love it. Now, I'm going to be 100% honest, I only bought this humidifier <laughs> because I want my plants to be happy. I know that there's a lot of health benefits to having a humidifier in the room where you sleep or just having it in my house in general but I did 100% only purchase this humidifier for my plants and any other health benefits that it might have to me is just the bonus cherry on top but this is actually one of my newest latest favorite purchases of all time Probably one of the best $180 I ever spent. My plants are happy, I'm happy, I'm sleeping really, really well at night having this on. And yeah, that's just one of the purchases that I'm really glad I bought. <laughs> that actually concludes this video. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me through this video. Question of the day, what's something that you have recently purchased and you are absolutely loving? Leave it in the comments down below. Let's have a conversation. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you for being here. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. Thanks guys so much for watching. Thank you for being here. I really truly appreciate you've chosen to spend your time here with me today. I shall see you guys in my next video. Bye.